Hey guys, how's it going? So, lately I've been getting into this horrible habit of misplacing things. Um, my wife probably thinks I'm doing this on purpose so I can buy new things. Um, I have no way, shape, or form doing that, honey. Uh, <clears throat> um, anyways, so I replaced, I misplaced one of my radios, one of my original handhelds. I like having them uh, just when we are going to a big campsite, I can give one of these to the kids. They can go off, they can do the thing. And it's already happened already um, where these have come in, in handy. Uh, the kids were out riding bikes through, through a, uh, a giant RV park and one of them fell, skinned her knee. My middle one got on the radio and she she phoned us where, we're, where they were at. I was able to jump in the truck, go get them, and they worked out great. Um, it's also nice when we're on the trail, I can hand one of these off to somebody that's maybe spotting for me or helping me back into a spot. Um, and it's just much easier to talk to that person instead of trying to yell at the window or sometimes hand signals aren't, aren't the same as everyone else's. So the, these are nice because I have a GMRS radio in my cab. So I can just hand this off to somebody and just utilize my GMR, GMRS uh, radio that's in already installed in my cab. So I already unboxed these. We're going to do a quick unboxing. They're already taken out, obviously, plugged in. I want to get them on the charger as soon as possible. Um, these ones are a little different from my older ones. So this battery housing, it actually clamps down so it holds that in and then it has an actual battery pack the other ones i think just i just put batteries in them so this one has an actual battery inside of it that's from midland so these are the midland two two-way radio the gxt pro series Let's see come on can i figure this out there we go so these are the g uh, GXT Pro Series. I haven't turned it on yet. I haven't messed with it yet. These are different than the ones that I had before. I think they're a little bit higher, higher grade, higher model. I'm not sure. So usually they want you to throw these on the charger for 24 hours before using them and put them on the charger for 24 after using them in the field for 12 hours. Um, that can just make sure your batteries are good to go 100% all the time. So these ones have uh, 50 channels, 142 privacy codes. Um, they're uh, national weather alert radios, and you can uh, uh, use group calling on them. Um, up to 36 mile range, and that's line of sight. You guys, uh, that's, that's most important. Um, your range will diminish when you start getting uh, obstructions in the way. Um, so this is the box they come in, really nice. Um, I've always been pleased with Midland. And there we go. See, really explains on the back exactly maximum range, no obstructions. And they, even if you read through the instructions, it says uh, flat land or even over water is where you're going to get maximum range. Um, partial obstructions, and then you're going to have short range only under major uh, obstructions for line of sight. So yeah, here we go. Uh, can only maximum range can only be achieved over water or open rural areas under optimum optimum conditions. So here it is. This is all the goodies that come with it. Um, I got this at the off road expo in Pomona. Um, I can't remember what I got for it. Got it for um, it was on sale, obviously show price. But uh, here's some of the stuff it comes with. Obviously instructions. A uh, little pocket guide. Um, this is pretty good. Help teaches you everything about it. So you got your regular charger with a 12 volt uh, plug, and you got this one for the car. If you want to mount this up, put it in the car, which I like to do. And it comes with two um, individual earpieces, which are nice as well. Um, I don't think I'll ever use these, but it's always good to have them. All right, guys, so that is my new set of handheld radios. And yes, like I said, I use both. 
I have the handhelds and I have the installed one. Um, I, like I said, I, I use it quite a bit. It's nice having both. Um, or if I'm if we're on the trail and we have another another person on the trail who doesn't have an installed or walkies, um, I can just hand him one of my walkies and we'll be good to go. Uh, I think we did that when we were heading up to uh, Menachee Meadows. Uh, we had another gentleman with us <clears throat> who didn't have a radio, so I just handed him one of my handhelds, and uh, we were all able to keep in touch that way. Um, so, yeah, go check them out, Midland. Good product. See you guys next time.